Thank you so much for the introduction. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased to be here. Very exciting presentation I'm going to do for you today. I'm um, trying to keep the slides to a minimum. Um, we're talking about ND Access for Doors, which is basically a Java API for doors. So it's going to get technical. We're going to jump into Eclipse and see some stuff and execute. Um, so I will try and keep us down to old 12 or so slides. So let's just jump right in. Um, you know, first, why did we build MD Access? Um, I, I love this picture because I think it says it all. Uh, why did we build MD Access? Well, doors probably a great tool to monitor maybe 20 years ago, but as you see now, it's a bit dated. Um, the language is a derivative of C. Um, you can see the environment for editing the, uh, the DXL code is, is a bit rough, a bit hard to use. Um, so in some, that's basically why we decided to jump in and the access and hopefully uh, none of this is new and you've seen this editor before and which has driven you to look for uh, a different solution. So it comes down to the question, what's easier to develop an SDXL or to use Java? Right, so you know, why did we get there? Well, DXL, um, it's a scarce population, right, and it, it is not growing. Um, typically, you know, DXL probably 10, 15 years ago is when a lot of the DXL expertise was coming on board and being grown, but there's not a lot of people coming out of school especially, but um, even in, in organizations that are jumping in and starting to do DXL code, so you're, you're kind of fighting for a smaller set of people who can do some of this DXL, which leads to a couple of things around the, the cost of this. Um, if people are not cheap, they're usually uh, more senior people, um, so they are expensive themselves, but then their productivity is really not that great given that environment, so it's difficult and expensive to build and to even maintain the existing solutions, um, which ties into the third point about the lack of development tools. Um, DXL just had that editor that I showed you. Of course, Sodius, so I don't know if you guys are aware, but Sodius has a DXL editor, which is um, a clips environment for doing this DXL stuff. It's, it's great. It's light years ahead of what I just showed you, but it, it's not up to the level of full IDE for Java, for instance. Um, so going to Java, uh, easy to find skills. Uh, there's, you know, Java programs are a dime a dozen. There's powerful IDs, whether it's Eclipse or anything else that could be out there. And also, I think, important as well is that it's probably tying in with a lot of the existing code or it's easier to get Java to other stuff type bridges than it is DXL or doors to um, type bridges in place. So it's going to let you more cost effectively build your solutions and also tied in with the rest of uh, the existing infrastructure that your organization has. So that was kind of the introduction. Let you guys know if you're in the right spot or interested in this topic. So let me tell you who we are um, and, and why we're talking about this. So Sodius is, I guess, really well known for being integration experts. That's what we do. That's what we've done since really our inception. Um, it's for integrating data across the product lifecycle, and this is typically engineering design kind of data. Um, a lot of stuff around UML models and integrating those with other things. A lot of stuff around architecture frameworks like DODAF or NAF, um, MODAF, etc., and tying that stuff into the rest of the artifacts or applications uh, in your engineering departments. Um, we're a strong technology company.